Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. This is a work day in the life. Hospitals do not close for holidays and I actually picked up this Thanksgiving shift. It was not like my required to work holiday, but I think it's gonna be a good shift and you get holiday pay and I'll get an evening differential and I'll get my holiday PTO hours that I would have gotten just like banked in my little PTO bank. So a lot of good things for taking this shift and I'm kind of excited for it. What is nice too is instead of working just my regular like eight to 4.30, I don't have to go in until 1.30. I'm working 1.30 to 10. So that just adds a little extra out of routine. <laughs> but I think in a fun way that will be going on. And I get to spend this morning kind of feeling more like a holiday before heading in. So I'm going to get dressed and ready to go work out and I'm going to do my little workout and we'll talk more about what I do in the hospital, what a holiday will look like, what's different in a holiday day than in working regular days. And eventually once it's time, we'll, we'll actually go in. <laughs> breakfast I'm all clean and I'm gonna sit down and just work on editing a YouTube video this is the part that feels like a holiday even though I'll be working a regular workday length of time like regular workday hours this is fun I don't usually get to do this on a Thursday it's time to start getting ready for work just enough to kind of look and feel presentable while still being cozy. I have just a regular black shirt on under my sweatshirt, but I figured, I don't know, I'm planning on having cozy vibes this shift, so I <laughs> figured I should bring a sweatshirt. But let's talk about what a holiday actually will look like. Well, I have no idea, but <laughs> why pediatric medical social workers work on holidays. Holiday coverage is different than what I usually do. This is where there's such a broad range of medical social work, and then even within pediatrics, there's such a broad range. When I go in today, I'm just doing house and ED coverage, meaning I'm there for what like really needs social work in that moment whereas on a typical day I'm like set in a specific floor I have my specific patients I have like specific tasks I'm doing for my specific patients that is not today today is people come into the ED and need social work or throughout the hospital maybe there's something that cannot wait until tomorrow so that's what I'm there for today so those things could be trauma situations coming into the ED they could be child protection situations coming into the ED it could be as simple as people needing like meal assistance or needing like a referral to Ronald McDonald today or something like that. It really could be a broad range of anything just depending on who's at the hospital, who comes into the ED and what they need, if they need anything. What is nice and like a knock on so much wood as I'm saying this part, but this holiday is very well staffed with social workers. I will not all be the only one there. There are multiple different shifts. I'm evening shift. There's a daytime, a later daytime, evening, and then overnight. And so there's one other social worker that's working the same hours as me. And there's only like an hour and a half or two hours that we're the only two there. There's either two others or four other social workers workers there than us at a time. So that's where I'm feeling like no matter what happens, even if it's things that I don't usually handle since I'm not usually in the ED and it's such different social work there than what I'm used to, the people that I'm working with will know things that I don't and feel comfortable with things that I don't so that if I have like 
some big question or something that comes up that I need help with, there are people there to help, which makes me feel less nervous going into this holiday because the last holiday I worked was not with people who typically work in the ED. They work closer to like what I usually do. So we can make it work, we're adaptable, but it is nice having people who are like experts in this exact form of social work that will be around with me. I really, and I get knock on so much wood because this, like, this could blow up in my face. I feel like it's gonna be slow. The like cursed word in healthcare, I feel like it might be quiet. At least compared to the amount of social workers that'll be there. I think I'm gonna have downtime and I'm gonna have to like force myself to sit down and be okay with downtime because I can't force needs to happen that aren't there. So I don't know like if I should bring like a Kindle or something. I really have no idea. I need to bring like my phone charger. I need to pack up my bag. I actually need to be leaving like right now. <laughs> but something I kind of want to do since I'm not usually in the hospital in the evening is I really hope that there's like good sunset tonight that I can like go to the top floor and watch it. Like take my break during that time. Or if there is downtime for me to just walk around, like go up there. I think that would be so beautiful. Like seeing the sunset over Atlanta. I really want that, but I have no control on what the sunset can look like. So I'm gonna pack my bag and then we'll get going. I do feel kind of nervous because it's out of my normal range of social work and like my normal routine of things, but I am still gonna go to my office so I can get my laptop and my work phone because I left those there yesterday. I thought about just bringing them with me and I was like, I can just go pick them up. And then I'm gonna go to like more of the main social work little hub so I can see who else is there, see what's going on. But I do need to get going, so it's time to start. So just doing like an initial look at what's going on. There's not that much. It can knock on so much wood. I hate like talking like this. There's not much going on and anything that is a need is already being taken care of by the social workers who are already here, which I kind of suspected. So I think I'm gonna go down to the little like social work area and see who's around, pick up on some vibes. <laughs> and that's it, I suppose. Space with my colleagues and it's kind of just a waiting game everything is taken care of for now so we'll see what we'll see what the evening brings you'd think a storage closet would have better lighting <laughs> I'm on my way to my first consult up on a general pediatrics floor. I was helping put a list together of pediatricians for a child who doesn't have a pediatrician but has asthma, which is a chronic condition. So I just figured out like with their insurance, pediatricians in their area that are accepting new patients and put a list together so that they can look through and decide who seems like a good fit for them. And then I also am providing just like a link to a community database of resources that can be helpful for people who have financial needs relatively regularly and then they need food help. So I'm bringing a little meal bag and she is gonna discharge later this evening and need transportation help home. So can't do it all right now. Could just do some of it right now. Some of it will be later tonight, but I'm gonna go meet with family, talk to them. And as that usually happens, sometimes there's like probably gonna be one or two more things that comes up just by conversation, but that's why it's good to go see them so that can identify and meet those needs as they do come up. parent I had been going to see had stepped away before I got there and I went back about an hour later and she still hasn't back yet so I'll just kind of be checking in throughout the afternoon to see when she does come back so I can give the little information that I have and I just happened to stumble upon a code situation which I stuck around nearby in case any support would be needed but there wasn't any family at the hospital yet it was a newborn who flew here so family is following behind so I'm kind of staying ready in case support is needed whenever they get here but not like an immediate thing to do right Right now I kind of just walked around and saw some some of my babies that I'm familiar with even though I'm not working my normal social work job today just like while there was a lull I went and saw some of them and then I just got a consult to refer a family to the Ronald McDonald house so I'm gonna go see if they're bedside in the room and if they are we'll collect all their information so that I can make that referral so that they can make good use of the Ronald McDonald house while their kids in the hospital there have been several like trauma stat I don't really know like ED lingo trauma stat I think those are two different things <laughs> I don't know 
There have been several of those that are coming through the ED, but it's kind of a situation right now where there were enough social workers here that anytime like a page would come, they'd be like, okay, who wants that one? And three people would be like, oh, I'll go. And so I've kind of not been jumping at it and more been focusing on the inpatient side of things because that's what I'm most familiar with. And because there's enough people that I don't have to go and like fight to be one of the four social workers that wants to respond. So I'm gonna go check and see if Ronald McDonald's family is here. are popping from coming up this high. I was hoping that the cafeteria would have like something special for Thanksgiving, but instead they're just like minimally operating. So I got a burger, but I'm taking my little break. The sunset, it was too cloudy to be beautiful, but it still is pretty seeing the city and everything. So I'm just gonna sit up here where it's all quiet and eat. picked up probably because I was talking like I was earlier but have had several traumas and ED situations that I have responded to now and I'm sitting trying to get all of my notes in because there's several like complex I don't know whenever there's multiple members of a family in the hospital it's like hard keeping it all straight I'm trying to make my notes be very clear for the people who come next <laughs> and so I'm trying to get those notes in and make them be good hopefully knock on wood I should stop saying what's gonna happen but hopefully I'm done doing social work interventions for the night and it'll just be documentation crossing fingers <laughs> from here on out because now the overnight people are here. We're during our overlap time right now. So anything that would come up, probably they'll take until I leave. Maybe, we'll see. I'm gonna try to get my notes done. My notes are finished. It is about, I would say 10 minutes until I can respectably log out of my little work phone to where I can no longer be reached. There are no consults that could come in the next 19 minutes. That's how long total I have. 10 minutes till I can log out, I would say. 19 until I'm done. I don't think there are any consults that could come in that would need me whenever there are other people here. So I think it's safe to say that we're finished with the holiday. I know I gave like a few little details before, but the things that I kind of got caught up with in the evening after eating, one was helping a parent advocate for their child. Not that they needed the extra boost, like they were doing okay, but <laughs> backing them as they use their voice for their child. And then another one was a car crash that involved multiple people, majority of whom came to our hospital. So just help like coordinating and providing support. A lot just providing support because everything's so chaotic when like so many different people are first coming in, especially if they're within the same family of just like figuring out how each person's related to who, which parents go with who, who is supportive to who, and like like helping people be okay to the extent that they can as they're in that initial shock period is something that I kind of assisted with. Others of my colleagues were more involved and had to do a couple child protection things in car crashes. It obviously is important if a child was like properly restrained in a car or not, because that can affect the level of injury that they have and by law is required to be properly restrained. But my colleagues kind of handled that portion of things. So I mostly was coordinating, trying to be a calm, supportive presence. It's weird being here so late. It also doesn't really feel like the time. Like I think when I'm driving home, Home is when it'll actually feel like it's nighttime. And I do come in at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Ooh. Just for like a normal day of work. <laughs> have made it to my car. It has gotten quite frigid out here in the outdoors <laughs> since I went inside and I'm glad to have made it to the end of this shift. I do like 
switching up my routine like this. And I do, I don't know, I kind of think I do too much for ED since I'm used to being a floor social worker. Like I definitely did stuff today that could have waited till the floor social workers got here tomorrow. But in my head I was like, oh, I'll just get it done. <laughs> so it did end up being busy. Like I did not grab my Kindle out of my bag like I had kind of thought I might. I didn't really even like, I didn't even watch like a YouTube video, which I usually can do like on a normal day. But it was kind of fun. Like I said, I wouldn't want to be out of my routine every single day. And I also would not want to work until 10 p.m. every single day. But I don't hate it for today. I do get up and work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Like I'll be at work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I feel like that's probably going to be the harder part than this is right now. But overall, holiday over. I'm still going to go home and get ready for bed. And really my plan is just to like shower, get ready for bed, pop my little self in bed. <laughs> and then be back here in, should I do the math? Just over nine hours is when I'll be back here. Yay! I'm going to put on these little under eye masks and I think sleep in them. You're not technically supposed to sleep in them. You're supposed to just have them on for like 20, 25 minutes, but I am hoping to not be awake for 20, 25 minutes more. So we're gonna say I'm sleeping in them and then in the middle of the night, I can just take them off. I feel like I look more messed than I feel. I think tomorrow morning will feel weirder. Welcome. I'm putting on my some sleep mask. I was just saying that I feel like I look more mess than I actually feel. I think I'm gonna feel more mess probably. You look no mess tomorrow. You're a pretty, pretty princess. Thanks. That's for sure. Thank you. You're my pretty. Princess. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> You're like. So sweet. No, sorry, I'm just focused. She's dialed in, folks. I'm dialed in. Thanks for joining a day in the life of a social worker, a night in the life of a social worker. I really do feel like tomorrow is just gonna feel weird. Like today was kind of fun. Tomorrow is gonna be like, oh, I'm like doing a regular work day. That's crazy. Hello. Oh, wait, I put these on reverse of each other. There we go. Did you like doing the 130 to 10? I did, but I don't think I'd like doing it every day. Like, I would get tired of it, but it was kind of fun just to be like out of the regular. I told them, I don't know if I told you, I barely sat down like i brought my kindle really because i thought that i'd be able to like read and i was staying busy not so much yeah i sat when i ate like i did take a full time there but gotcha not so much okay subscribe before you go thanks for joining <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too late to do anything else like this video thank you see you later <laughs>